Nvidia's upcoming RTX 5060 is uh, generating a lot of buzz, but details are still mostly based on leaks and rumors. Expected to be based on the ADA Loveless architecture or uh, of a revised version, the 5060 is uh, predicted to offer a strong balance for performance and affordability. Targeting 1080 pixels to 1440 pixels gaming, it's expected to feature around 3000 to 3500 CUDA cores and 8 GB of GDDR6 VRAM which could make it a solid performer for gamers who don't need the high-end power of the RTX 4090 but still want a solid experience in modern titles. The RTX 5060 could also support the latest NVIDIA features like the DLSS 3 and ray tracing, making it a great option for those looking for future-proof tech without spending a fortune. Pricing is expected to fall in the $300 to $400 range, positioning it between the RTX 4060 and the most powerful 4090. Filling a crucial gap in Nvidia's lineup, this card would cater to the majority of gamers who need solid 1440 pixels performance, great ray tracing, and a balance between power and cost. In comparison to Nvidia's flagship models, the RTX 4090 and the rumored RTX 5090, the 5060 is mid-tier option, the RTX 5090 will likely be an extreme powerhouse, built for 4K gaming and even 8K in some cases, with 10,000 plus CUDA cores and 24 GB of VRAM, likely aimed at professional content creators and enthusiasts. Meanwhile, the RTX 4090, based on the same architecture as the 5060, brings 16,384 CUDA cores and 24 GB of GDDR6X VRAM, providing mind-blowing performance for ultra settings at 4K. And pushing the limits of AI tasks, creative workloads, and gaming, both the 4090 and 5090 are high-end extreme performance cards with 450 watts or higher TDPS, targeting the top 1% of gamers and professionals. In contrast, the RTX 5060 will uh, target those who don't need that level of power, offering great performance for 1080 pixels and 1440 pixels for gaming, while still enabling cutting-edge features like DLSS 3 and ray tracing. But let me tell you one more problem. One of the biggest talking points around NVIDIA's GPUs these days is the shift to 16-pin connectors. Especially with the RTX 4090 and beyond, the 8-pin connectors typically delivers 150 watts of power and while they are sufficient for mid-tier cards like the 3060 and 4060, they face limitations when uh, trying to handle more powerful GPUs. This is where 16-pin connectors come into play. Delivering up to 600 watts, which is essential for the RTX 4090 and future flagships like the RTX 5090. These connectors help streamline power delivery, consolidating multiple 8-pin connectors into one and offer better efficiency for extreme power-hungry GPUs. However, they aren't without their issues. There has been concerns around overheating and melting cables, especially when adapters are used. If the 12VH power connector isn't fully pushed in, it can cause serious issues like overheating and even cable melting which has been a major safety concern in PC building, particularly for those new to building PCs who may not realize how much force is actually required to properly connect the cable. But here's where the Zotac is innovating to address this. With the upcoming RTX 50 series GPUs, Zotac is adding a safety light that says red until the cable is fully inserted. This means that if the light is still on, the GPU won't even power up, making it impossible to run the system with an incomplete connection. This could be a huge step forward in ensuring safe uh, and proper connections, preventing overheating or melting. In a world where ray tracing and fake frame generation often steal the spotlight, I personally appreciate these physical safety innovations. Good job, Zotek. Despite these improvements, the 16-pin connector is still considered the future of high-end GPUs with uh, better power handling and cleaner connections. But it's not without its growing pains. And uh, while Zotac safety measures uh, may help, the industry is still figuring out the best solution to ensure stable and safe power delivery as GPUs become more demanding. The need for the RTX 5060 comes from Nvidia's strategy to cater to the mid-range market filling the gap between the 4060 and the 4090. 
as AMD competes with its uh, RX 7000 series, Nvidia must provide an option for gamers who want good performance without the need for extreme specs. While the RTX 4060 may appeal to budget-conscious gamers, the RTX 5060 would offer more power for those seeking better frame rates, smoother ray tracing, and enhanced AI technology at more affordable price point. It's a perfect option for gamers who want to experience DLSS 3 and uh, ray tracing without breaking the bank or uh, compromising on too much performance. In conclusion, while the RTX 5060 will likely serve as an affordable uh, mid-range option for gamers looking for solid 1440 pixel performance and access to cutting-edge technologies, the RTX 4090 and future RTX 5090s are targeting enthusiasts and uh, professionals with extreme demands. The power connector issues, particularly around the transition to 16-pin connectors, highlight the growing need for better power delivery solutions as GPUs become more demanding. NVIDIA's ability to balance affordable performance with next-generation features will likely make the RTX 5060 an attractive option for a large swath of gamers. But for those craving the ultimate in the performance, the 4090 and 5090 will remain the cards to beat. If this video helped you out, please do like and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching till here. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.